Hey, welcome to part three of our series on web and database security. In part one, we built a simple jokes app. In part two, we added a registration and login. And now we're ready to do the security features in part three. So here's the details of what we're going to explore in part three. We'll take a look at the comparison between post and get. That's a form action. So when you submit data, one of them provides a more secure way of transferring data than the other. Then we'll do SQL injection attacks which is a very common way for people to spill data onto the screen that shouldn't be revealed. And so in our case, we're going to show all the username and passwords instead of just showing a joke query. And then the next step, we're going to uh, enhance the security of our users' passwords by requiring them to have certain lengths and use certain characters. We're going to hash the passwords, which means even if the hackers were able to uh, somehow siphon off the data from our database, the passwords will be encrypted and not usable. And then the last section we'll talk about cross-site scripting, which is a technique in JavaScript to steal a session of a user and then overtake their login session. And if they were doing some financial transactions or things, they could steal data, they could steal information, they could steal money. And so cross-site scripting is the last topic that we'll explore. And so when you're done here, your website will be not only a basic website for your portfolio, but will also be a secure website so that you can make sure that you're confident you're ready to go online and face the internet.